we what's going on youtube is donnie b all day this is gonna be a short one short one quick one yeah, i'm sorry guys so i'm gonna do 10 shout outs today shout outs to people who are right at the second half of 50 you know what i mean like they're on their way to the next big number people that just need to get there and some people that i can't believe they're not where they're at so far but also what we're doing is a what's in your pocket today so what was with me i just took it out of my pocket because i used it was my 4 Max. I had my Cold Steel 4 Max with me all day. As much as that Chris disappointed me, and I think I have it like right over here somewhere, as much as this disappointed me. Now, a lot of people are whining about or talking about, because some people are being cool about it, about, you know, the pocket catch, right? They say, oh, well, if you had this, then the pocket catch really wouldn't work. Um, but if you are putting... Let's see if we can get, I don't know if it'll work left-handed. Oh, my other, my other what's in my pocket today was my Microtech Combat Trudon. I was told that the reason you can't open this is because you, your thumbs aren't strong yet. And that's why you can't open it fast. Um, but I have a Combat Trudon. My thumbs work pretty good. Um, so there's... If you ever noticed like my video, especially on the um, XL Espada, and it's got the Emerson technology where it's got a little thing on the top. When you pull it out of your pocket, it opens automatically, right? It catches on the air and it opens up. This one is curved, right? It's fin shaped. So in order to get it to go out of your pocket, first of all, as a lefty, I have to take it out of the pocket and catch it this way. And... Uh, there you go, and hope it opens, right? Uh, as a righty, it's a little bit easier because when you come out of your pocket, it can catch here, and you, you see the issue, right? It's junk. Not only that, but these will tear your pockets up. So I didn't mention any of this in that video because I really wouldn't expect people to use it. It sucks. Does it work? Yeah, if you really pull against it, but now you're going to just tear apart the, the inside of your pants. Remember, your pants are made of fibers. It's little strings. Eventually, this little saw, which is what it is against thread, is going to tear the inside of your pocket up. And so here's the thing. They say, oh yeah, but it's quick deploy because of, um, of this. And that's why... And then I was told that the reason you can't have a flipper... Is because if that was there, then th but that's not true because even if this was here, it wouldn't affect this hitting the other side of the pocket. So having one stick out here would have zero effect. I mean zero effect on this hitting a pocket. None. It would not touch it. Um, but this is a pain in the butt to work on the pocket anyway because it's shaped like this. Not It's not catching here on that lip. That's why the, the design on the other one, like the Espada, is done well because it's made to catch. This kind of grinds. If you don't get it right, you're just going to slide it up. Now, here's the other problem. What if this is your car knife? Somebody gets mad at you and you got to do something, right? What are you going to do? Say, hold on a second. Let me put it in my pocket so I can quickly deploy it. No. If, if it's already out, you need to have that thing open fast. I'm telling you guys, I'm not hating on the knife because I really wanted to love this knife. It's just a bad design. Um, so I needed to, I needed to say that because everybody, oh, but, yeah, but it's made. For, no, I, I get it. I get it. We all get it. We know what it's for. It just sucks. It's a bad design. What doesn't suck? That. That opens with a push of a thumb. Watch this. See how quick that was? Pretty simple. Does it open when I take it out of my pocket? No, it doesn't need to because I just push it with my thumb. Pretty simple. Even my 4 Max opens just by pushing it with my thumb. Lefty, righty, it doesn't matter. It's just going to push on my thumb. A good design is a good design. A bad design is a bad design. All right, so 10 shout-outs. And, uh, and I didn't go through everybody yet because I'm going to do more. But I went through some of these guys who are just right there. And one of them really gets me. This guy, Timbo437. I have them all written down right here because remember, I no way. Um, Timbo437. This guy's like really laid back and really cool. And he puts out some really nice knives, right? Um, and uh, he has really good opinions on them. And he explains why he likes what he likes and why not, why not. Um, 
The dude has 295 subscribers. He needs this many to get to 300. If tomorrow, after this video, if by tomorrow this guy doesn't have 300, you guys failed. Because Timbo, T-I-M-B-O-437, all one word, um, deserves at least five more. Come on, guys. Um, Steel Forge and Fire, Sword and Knife, my man Samurai Joe. He's got 650. 50 more, he's on his way to 700. So he's on the back half already of that 600. Let's get him to 700, man. He needs freaking 50 more. This guy does a lot for the knife community. A lot more. He does a lot of stuff behind the scenes you guys don't know. Um, Cerebral Ballsy, my man Mikey, 558. He's almost at 600. Boom, get him there. Mikey's like the nicest person in the world. Guy's got such a great attitude. How about we feed his attitude by giving him likes? Watch this. It's free. I like, I like, I like. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the like button. Um, Samurai Bird. How the hell does he only have 67 subs? He's on his way to 100. Let's get him. Samurai Bird, um, B-Y-R-D, is... Um, is a katana guy, right? Like Eric Hussein, who I'll be talking about. He's a katana guy, like like Carl Ruger, like Steel Forge and Fire, Sword Knife. Guys, we have these things in common that need to be fed, man. We're all one family in this stuff. Um, so yeah, Samurai Bird, 67, let's get him up there. Another Timbo, Timbo 66. Um, he's got 272. He's right there, almost at 300. Say Timbo 437, Timbo 66. They are so freaking close. Let's get both Timbos up. The Angry Dracolope. He's got 390. The guy is 10 away from 400. Let's get him there. Um, my man Grugs. Legion Tactical. T-A-C-T-I-C-O-O-L. Tactical. All one word. Cutlery. Legion Tactical Cutlery. He's at 189. The guy needs 11 subs to get to 200. It just looks better when you're after the 100s and you're in the 200s. So let's help him out. Um, and when I say let's, I already did it. I did my job. I pressed subscribe. Guys, it's up to you. Come on. Um, concerned Aussie. Love him. The guy's so quirky and like all over the place. And he, he loves blades. And the good thing about his videos is he uses the damn blades. He actually hits. Why concerned Aussie has 78 freaking people? Golly, that drives me crazy. He uses the knife. He's saying, this is why you should ball a knife, mate. And he smashes on it. And he lets you know. And if it's bad, he's going to tell you. Because it's going to show he's doing it. He's using the knife. He's not doing just like tabletops and boxes. No open box things. No, concerned Aussie is using his knives and he has 78 subs. Um, Back to uh, Eric Insane Hussein, who just did a cool challenge with an empty jug. I can't tell you what it is. You're just going to have to go see it. But Eric Hussein is at 765. He's creeping toward that 800 mark. Let's help him creep a little further. The guy is the only guy I've ever seen who every video has got a cigarette and a katana. Um, Eric Hussein is definitely worth picking up. And the last one on this list is my man Ron T. Sawyer. Another one of these just really down-to-earth Carl Ruger type really nice guys, right? And, uh, he knows what he's talking about. Ron T. Sawyer is a good freaking dude. He's at 472. 500 is a really cool mark, man. I remember when I was trying to get to 500 and I had nobody pushing for me because nobody was doing shout outs. Guess what? Now we have shout outs and he deserves to get to that 500. I remember the feeling getting there. Let's get him there, man. Let's all work together. It is pouring out. So that's the 10 shout outs I wanted to do. And you thought, wait a second, you forgot one. What about Scab over at Choir Boys Cutlery? Remember, he's on his way to 5,000 right now. He's over 2,000, but it's just not enough. Let's get Scab to 5,000. Oh, who's that last guy on the list? Oh yeah, me. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, do whatever. You don't have to share this one. You might be bored with it, but go through some of the other ones. They might be worth sharing. Um, Try to get to 10,000. When we do, there's going to be a big giveaway with multiple gives because a whole bunch of people are feeding into it. So those 10 and the extra two, let's get it. Keep happiness in your pocket. Love y'all. I am Donnie B. All day. Until next video.